Hey everybody! Uh, so this is gonna be a video that I'm just gonna be like adding another video onto the pile of numerous other videos that are like this on the interwebs recently. Uh, but I just need to talk about my love of Pedro Pascal. For those of you who don't know, Pedro Pascal is an actor who has recently uh, blown up for his work in The Last of Us, but he's also been blown up for a while now. I mean, he's been the, the Mandalorian in The Mandalorian and been in a bunch of other things. I mean, he was in a Shark Boy and Lava Girl sequel, like. The man is a king, and I adore him. Uh, but the real reason I just wanted to express how much I adore this man is because he just, like, represents such a wonderful, warm, positive masculinity. You know, in all of his videos, he's kind, he's caring, he's protective. If you watch, like, videos of him, like, uh, just being himself, he always, like, like showcases this, like, willingness to joke about himself and, and kind of, like, joke with other guys that he's friends with. Like, his friendship with Oscar Isaacs, where they just lovingly insult each other, is adorable. Oh, uh, <laughs> I remember who you look like. Who's that? That Muppet I told you about. <laughs> <laughs> what Muppet? The, 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 the grumpy eagle. <laughs> the grumpy eagle? Remember? Because <laughs> the eyebrows? <laughs> Malo. And I think Pedro like represents such a just a warm masculinity and I'm just so thankful for him to like be this really kind wonderful human being in the public eye you know I, I as someone who also you know not on the same level as him obviously but like who also has a mind of public presence I know that that's a difficult thing to do and he just he just constantly warms my heart and and it makes me feel so glad that there's that positive masculine role model out there um because I, I I think that you know one thing, I think just, like, many men need a role model like that, and I really think Pedro is, is representing that in a really beautiful way. Um, and also, um, you know, I, as someone myself, on two levels, you know, I am non-binary, and I've been recently thinking more and more about masculinity and how it relates to myself. I'm actually making a video on it that'll probably take a month or two to come out. But, like, relationship to masculinity as a non-binary person and thinking about that. Um, and it's just been nice to, like, see a positive version of that in the public eye, uh, especially, like, in an older guy being like that and being so warm and also like willing to acknowledge his uh his sexiness and like his like how he has been sort of like seen as like a very sexual figure uh to many people out there and and, and like accepting that some would say narcos is when you became a heartthrob do you think you're a heartthrob i don't think he's I'm lying a... really <laughs> that's right yes i am a, yes i'm a heartthrob am i lying that's the truth i'm a heartthrob is it a lot of pressure being a heartthrob? No. Do you ever look at Instagram accounts devoted to you being a heartthrob when you're feeling down? Yes, I do. <laughs> and it's totally okay if he would be uncomfortable with it and saying, I don't want people to do that. You know, I've seen many actors who have been sexualized in the media and it can make them very uncomfortable. But he, and that's perfectly okay line to draw. But for him, he also just seems open to it and willing to play with that and being able to be open to being, you know, you know an object of desire in a way. And that's been kind of like fun for me and I know for a lot of like other people who are interested in men to sort of like have a parasocial figure who they like you know can have like a fun consenting sort of parasocial uh you know like a uh, horniness towards I and I think that that's like kind of a cool thing and again it's totally okay you don't want to objectify people um especially if they don't want to but he also seems to be kind of in on the fun and I think that that's that's kind of like a fun part of it. It's like, I don't ever expect to make out with uh, with uh, Pedro Pascal or anything like that. But it's just like, it's a, it's a fun thing that I think like is, oh, it kind of creates a safe space to just being like open sexually in our culture. Um, again, as we acknowledge that he is a hu full human being, this is just kind of the fun of it. Um, and he is in, he is consenting in, in, in some of the ways he's discussed about it. And if he ever changes his mind on that or expresses differently, then, you know, I think we should respect that. But I think it's just cool to see. But the last thing that I just really love about this man is he just very queer friendly. Um, you know, he's always supportive of queer people, but in a way that you don't like, it, honestly, see, like a lot of times when you hear queer people, like uh, non-queer people defend or talk about queer issues, they'll be like, oh, it's so important. It's so great. But recently he did like, there was a video where like a paparazzi person like kind of bothered him and harassed him while he was, and also, um, and, and this happened. <laughs> Can I ask, what do you say to the people that, that don't want to see the LGBT character love stories? They do. Can I just ask you real quick, why is it so important to have LGBTQ plus characters on, on TV shows? I think it's, I think you're asking the question because you know why uh, it's so important. Can you tell me why? Uh, you should know why. 
So I love this video, number one, like while this paparazzi person is uh, talking to him and uh, and also clearly he's going about his day and is on the phone, he's like letting people take pictures of him. Like Pedro's just constantly like giving his energy to other people and, and that's gotta be tiring. So that, that's such a wonderful, caring thing for him to do. But I love his responses here because it's not like, oh yeah, queer people are great, queer people need like defending. He's just like, I think you know. If you're asking the question, I think you know. And it like puts the introspection upon the person asking the question and the people watching the video instead of like him giving the answer he he forces us to like introspect a minute and think about like what it means and like what we think the answer means and i think that that's a kind of a really cool thing uh for him to do it's just like not doing the work for people but allowing people to sort of express that but he's also very clear in who he stands for and how why he thinks defending queer people is important he has a trans uh transgender sibling uh that he's been open about defending and defending trans people and queer people and he's always been in projects that seem to be really affirming of queer people um so i i just like in so many ways i think pedro is just is a really uh great role model um, for a lot of men out there, um, I think he is just a great human being. Um, and again, I say this all parasocially, you know, I don't know the man, I probably never will know the man, but he just, uh, seems genuine. And, uh, I think we need more people like that in the public eye who are willing to do that. And again, it's, you know, no one has to do that. No one should feel an impetus to have to do that. Uh, but the fact that he is doing that and seems not only willing, but excited and having fun doing it, um, I think is, is, is a beautiful thing. So uh, yeah, I stand Pedro Pascal.